Hi, good evening. This is Mike from the Pipe Doctor. What's up, Mike? Uh, you're up next. We'll be there in about 20 minutes, half hour. Thank you. You're very welcome. Let's go. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. Heading to an emergency service call. We have an existing residential client. They got a Burnham Alpine. Got no heat or hot water. And it's giving a hard lockout error number 25. It's been snowing all day. So, of course, the ones that don't know how to drive, you know, their abilities get severely impaired even in the snow. So it's like I'm driving 15 miles an hour here because this woman or this person in this punch buggy freaking yellow don't know how to drive. But nonetheless, keep this in mind, ladies and gentlemen, when you call Pipe Doctor Home Services, best believe that the parts are in the truck. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the parts are in the truck. Can you say the same about your HVAC contractor? I don't think so. Hello, sir. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? First time you're here, will you come back before? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. I want this bullet is the worst thing I could be put in my car. What? This bullet is not damn good. No? Why you say that? Uh, what was that problem? Always. What was that problem? Uh, but like two years ago, it was with so much money. It's a great boiler. If you I take know. care of it, when's the last time it was cleaned out and serviced? Open no, you can close the garage. Alright, let's see. Hard lockout. Hard lockout 25. Yeah, that sucks. So let me ask, when's the last time you had the boiler uh, taken apart and cleaned? Uh, I don't remember. This guy came. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Last year? I know, time does fly by us, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so you got a Sage 2.3. Let's see. Let's see if we can reset it. See what happens. Now we got a soft lockout, hardware fault. Let's see, where's the power switch for this thing? Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's been a while since this thing's been serviced, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that, like. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of cocky in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Reboot it. Probably gonna need a new controller. cycle this one more time with the reset <sighs> so, the 150 from 2011 These are, these are, it's a very, very good machine. 
the uh, the Alpine. Very, very good machine. This is the controller. This is the controller. You have it. Right there. What is one? But you know, this is a piece of garbage. You know. This is this is one of their best machines that they make on the market. And we have to pay every couple of years two thousand dollars and even more. Why? Because uh, check last time how much I spent for. I don't know. For this stupid thing. Oh. Uh, but look, look, look. already in the eleven I, years. I, I, well, let, let 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 let's let's be honest. The the and let's be frank with ourselves, right? This machine requires disassembly on an annual basis. And that disassembly takes about maybe two hours all in, all right? And that's not cheap because, you know, it's another thousand dollars. I would say about a thousand dollars, but you know, it's, it's for two hours, uh, labor or is no. It? no, no, not, no, not that much. Maybe a couple, oh, no, maybe no. a few hundred dollars, you know, but dollars, you know, maybe like $500 with tax, you know, but that, you know, that imagine how, listen, at the end of the day, whoever sold this to you and installed it should have told you what this needs, you right? Want to say, you want to say exactly. And that's the problem. Right, because if you if you knew that going in, maybe you would have went with a different boiler. Yes. I don't know. Right. I'm not. You know, I, I wasn't You're here. Right. Yes. Right. But you know, there are some people that want to have ultra efficient equipment in, in their homes. You know, to be green, and some people just want basic, simple. There's a saying called KISS, and it stands for Keep It Simple, Stupid. <laughs> right. If you, if you don't keep it simple, you get problems. All right. The new controller is in. Not that. What's that? I not that. No, it's not. It's not? It's not what? The board? Oh, yeah, well, it, then, it, then it's... <laughs> you, you don't want to know what it is if it's not that, the board. Maybe yep. All right, we have to go into... <clears throat> I really want to make sure you do this the right way. Seven seconds. Fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight. Here we go. Hmm. Yeah, 
there's ignition, the tick. Had ignition. Oh, no, there we have ignition. There it is. Hmm. Got some dirty sensors. Mm -hmm. They have multiple issues. All right, 12 seconds. See if it goes up to 80 seconds again, or is it going to be? Yeah. It's going to go up to 80 seconds again. And I got to pull the igniters. And one, and two. Look at that pre ignition test. Tick of the ignition. Drive light off. The recognition. Running. Okay, our fire rate is at 20%. We are increasing our temperature 80, 81, 82. Set point of 170. He's going to cycle up to 100% now, ramping up. Let's put the cover back on. All right, the cover's on. We're running. 118, 119, 120. Let's let this wait to get the temperature and continue testing. Right, 145, set point 170 for domestic hot water at 100%. Let's take a look at what's leaking here. This is our condensate. This is our condensate union that's factory supplied and is going into this three quarter inch copper pipe. And the high acidic condensate will eat that pipe. And that's the reason why there's a bucket here. Yeah, that's why I put them there. Yeah. How often do you empty the bucket? Yeah. Uh, it depends how you put it works. Yeah, it depends on the temperature, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So this pipe, which, what, does it go outside? Yes, it go outside. Yeah, it's probably frozen, maybe. No, it's not. No? No. Yeah. So the, the, this, this, this drip, it looks like water. It's not really water. It's, it's very acidic because it's the byproduct of combustion, the byproduct of burning fuel at the boiler, at the boiler runs. And normally it goes out, you know, normally, I guess normally here it goes outside, but normally in a normal installation, in a normal inst install, it's treated with a condensate neutralizer, which reduces the acidity of it and it makes it more pH balanced, so that way you can properly drain it and it doesn't affect like the groundwater and the environment, things like that. But um, it, this is commonly done by, you know, some contractors and doesn't make it right. But, you know, this is leaking because that's copper and it shouldn't be copper because the, the, the condensate ate it. it yep. Right now we're at 171 degrees, set point of 170. Still making that domestic hot water to satisfy that indirect water heater over there. Our fire rate is decreasing. We're at 81%, 79, and we're trying to satisfy the indirect water heater. Once the tank is satisfied, if there's a call for space heating, which there is, we will go into space heating mode unless it's not wired that way. So that's the tank. This is, oh yeah, so they're all, yeah, this is leaving. Yeah, so you have hot water going up there. All the zones are on. It's just not configured properly. When that tank is satisfied, the fire rate should probably go up to 180 unless there's an outdoor reset. feel our returns that's a return from the tank that's hot this is a, a return from oh look what they did here oh look what they did here all right so supply 
return boiler water okay coming out homeowner wonders why they spend so much money fixing this thing coming out of the boiler this is our supply side comes here and then it's being fed by one two three zones and we go across we have an expansion tank here that they jerry rig together coming across now we are our returns going to here and this is probably the 007 no, 0015 three speed technically the wrong circulator there and they're missing a primary loop so you have this very efficient and flagship boiler from US boiler and they never created a pri primary loop sad very very sad very very sad but it works right